Hi, this is Scott with Lake Sumter Dryer Vent Cleaning. Um, so I'm going to narrate what's going on, and this is basically the process of uh, how we clean our dryer vents using positive air. So you'll notice that I'm putting a hose um, through a bag. That bag is our lint collection bag. Uh, basically, our hose is going to blow 30 cubic feet a minute at 175 psi um, of pressure back towards me, and I don't want that mess going everywhere. So um, put the bag over there to collect the big chunks. Now, a lot of it's gonna aerosol out, but this, um, that means that the air pressure is so high, you're gonna see like a cloud. That is, a lot of the lint is just gonna turn into a cloud and go, but the chunks uh, can get messy. So here we go in. Um, now this is not all the same job, by the way, because I only have one camera, so there are a few different ones that I put together so you really can give you a visual visualization but this first run through, I'm just trying to get the bulk of the lint out. That way I can start to clean the gooseneck. That gooseneck has a lot of built up lint. And most people who use the vacuum and the brush system, they can't clean the gooseneck. So a lot of that's really some caked on hard substances. Um, but before I, when I do that and I use the air gun that you'll see, um, I don't want to be blowing lint back into the dryer. So I want to get the, the majority about now. Now as I clean that gooseneck, there will be some pos uh, positive airflow from my side, negative airflow on the dryer side come through. And that's not a bad thing. That also helps. Um, there's a reservoir for lint inside the dryer. And that can help agitate that. But, and that helps clean the entire system better. You'll see now that I'm turning that off and now I'm gonna try to clean out the bulk of the gooseneck. Now, as, as I do do this, there will be some lint that, the lint's gonna go everywhere. So there will be lint that goes back down into the vent and you'll see that we'll address that uh, once we're done. That's why we do multiple pass-throughs. But at this point, I'm going both underneath the damper so I can clear everything out around the vent, but also I'm going to be going above the damper. That way the damper flap, that's a flap inside the gooseneck that it opens when your dryer's on, closes when it's off, and we need that to be able to move very freely. Uh, if, the, if the insulation of the dryer is correct, it blows the lint up at a good enough force that it's going to start to collect lint where you, um, on the gooseneck, because it turns, the air hits and goes. Um, so we really, really need to keep an eye on that damper within the gooseneck. But you'll see I run through it a second time. That's to, uh, to pull all the lint out that blew into the vent as we we're cleaning the uh, gooseneck. And now I'm going in without a bag and I'm really making sure everything gets in there. That's because I visually want to see what's coming out of it now at this point because I need to make sure that it is clean. And the best way to do that is to see what comes out. Now we're going to be doing the same thing on the gooseneck, or in the vent itself. I'm going through without the bag now, and I'm making sure that by the time I'm done, there is no lint exiting that vent. And then I'll do one more brush through with the gooseneck. And at this point, we're pretty much done. We take a picture, and then if it's advanced package, we go test your airflow.